welcome back to Jesse at home. I'm really excited about today's video because I am going to be decorating in my hutch. I am kind of embarrassed. I still have bunnies up, but you know, we went on vacation at the end of April and just we've been so busy with end of school year stuff that I just haven't gotten around to redecorating this hutch. Um, I haven't decorated my hutch in a summer-ish theme in a long, long, long time. So I'm really excited about this. I got out my 4th of July, my red, white, and blue, all of my Americana type um, decor to put in my hutch. So first I'm just gonna go and <laughs> round up all the eggs and the bunnies and put them away so that I can clean my hutch up and start fresh for the upcoming summer. So I have to ask, are you one that decorates for each season, each holiday? What do you do? Um, right now, I'm barely hanging on to decorating per holiday, per season. I used to get really big into doing all the mini little things, um, St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day and all that. And I love to get back into doing that. But right now with the baby, I just, or the toddler, baby Malcolm, I just don't, I just, time flies so fast that I just can't keep up anymore. Um, but I do love decorating and I love um, getting my creativity out in my hutches. So I'm really excited to be doing this. So let me know in the comments if you do that or if you don't decorate for any season but Christmas, let me know what you decorate for. It has been a hot minute since I've decorated for like summer, 4th of July. I think it was our last house the last time any of this stuff really came out. Um, most of this I've already had, some of this Ray done. Um, I think this might be Dollar Tree or Target. I'm not sure, I've had this for a while. I have some of these um, stars that I painted, red, white, and blue, a red, white, and blue banner little thing. Um, some of those little Dollar Tree rattan balls that I painted red, white, and blue. These are the Dollar Tree houses. I put washi tape and, um, what is it, uh, stuff in, in the back. Like I did a, did a little DIY on these. I think this is from the ta Target um, bullseye spot. These two things are new. I just bought this from um, Home Goods this year. I just thought they were kind of pretty. In classic, a little tray, um, American flag tray. This is Ray Dunn from years ago, um, as are these pieces. I'm gonna use this red birdhouse as well. And this is a pour that I'm gonna turn around and I have a little bow hydrangea. I wish I had a blue one. I think that would have been really pretty. So we are going to take all of this stuff and make a new hutch. I'm really excited. I haven't really, done much hutch decorating um, since Malcolm was born. So let's get started. I honestly never know what I want to do. I, I bought this banner, but I never like swagging the banners like they're supposed to. And then I came up with an idea to use it in my stacked bowls. These are OG, like really nice dimpled old school looking um, Ray Dunn. I think it's like stir, toss, pinch, something, um, bowls. I love these bowls. I can't use them though because they cracked last time that I put anything in them. Um, it was like a slight crack, so I just use it for display now. But I think that's a genius. I kind of love it. Like, I think it's so cute to just put the stars in the stack bowl. Um, and I just added a cute little red, white, and blue banner to that, um, little vase and then my little uh, metal stars. I didn't realize I didn't have a ton of stuff to work with, but I'm working with what I got. You don't always have to go out and spend a ton of money 
on stuff. I mean, I guess if you're just getting started, buy a couple things here and there, but man, I, I'm just not into going out and buying brand new stuff all the time anymore. I definitely was that girl. I definitely was that girl. Oh, I gotta go out and get all the new things and, and all that stuff. But now I'm really content with using my creativity on what I have, because I have a lot. Um, I'm using my great grandmother's blue and white, beautiful country looking dishes in here. Um, this is my favorite look right here. I just love using these dishes. Um, and so happy that I get to have them. Um, they're not expensive at all. They're not like, I guess they are heirloom because they were passed down to me, but they're not like, they're priceless to me, but they're not worth a lot of money if I was trying to resell them, which I would never would, but you know what I mean? They, they mean a lot to me. So I was just playing around in here trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So um, my favorite thing to do is just put things in and then look at it and say, nope, and then just move things around. So that's what I was doing here. Um, just trying to balance everything. Um, you know, I used to be already done all words all the time. And now I'm just trying to balance the words so that it doesn't look as busy. I'm still battling my own thing. I'm, I'm, I am a maximalist at heart. I truly believe that. I love a cluttered hutch. I love a cluttered house, but my heart and my head do not love it. Um, gives me anxiety to have stuff everywhere all the time, even though visually my creative side, my creative brain absolutely loves like a full hutch and just stuff everywhere. I don't know why. Um, but this hutch makes me happy. I feel like it's bright. It's happy. It's cheerful. It's ready for summer. I'm not going to be decorating my whole kitchen, um, in red, white, and blue, but I think it just, it looks really cute in this one little hutch area. Um, so I'm super, super happy about how this turned out. I'll give you a close up too when I'm done cleaning all the glass because got to make sure that glass is streak free with my spray way so that you can see all the beauty goodies inside. Thank you to Dreamy Tech L10S Ultra for sponsoring today's video. Dreamy Tech L10S Ultra is a robotic vacuum and mop all in one. The L10S Ultra does it all in one machine, saving you time on chores, which is huge for stay at home moms like myself. We are busy running around after a kid. Don't wanna to have to worry about mopping all the floors up after that kid. The L10S Ultra has a base unit, which has a clean water tank, a uh, solution dispenser in between, and a dirty water reservoir as well. The Dreamy Tech L10S Ultra has a auto empty dust collection bin right in front for easy access. Um, so that you don't have to worry about cleaning out any dust after the vacuum has gone around and picked up all of the toddler crumbs. <laughs> this mop vacuum combo is a sleek design with two rotary mop heads that spin at 180 RPM under firm pressure to thoroughly scrub floors, just like a human would with a mop. So it's just, it's as good as you going out there with a mop and scrubbing. The front camera helps map the room, but also allows you to visually see from the vacuum's perspective inside of the app. The spinning side brush collects debris along the edges to be scooped up by the interior rubber brush for maximum cleaning. You can see the working parts of the machine, the mop heads, uh, the 5300 PA section of the rubber brush that will pick up all the loose debris off the floor, and the top spinning brush. 
Once the vacuum finished mapping my kitchen, I sent it out to clean for me. Um, it mapped it super quick as well. It didn't take very long. L10S Ultra knows to um, lift its mop heads over area rugs and carpets. You can adjust the settings to avoid rugs if you want and also set up no-go zones in the app if you want to avoid an entire area. So as you can see here, the mop heads lifted and it quit um, dispensing water and it quit rotating. So right now it's just doing vacuuming on this little area rug. The side brush also does an amazing job getting close to the baseboards and the walls to kick over any dirt and debris to be picked up by the rubber brush with all the suction. The L10S Ultra cleaned my textured tile floors and it also cleaned um, my thick area rugs that I have throughout the main floors in my house. Um, like I said, gotta pick up all of the toddler crumbs um, from all of his little crackers that he likes to have for his snack and it also did an amazing job on my laminate floors as you can see the beautiful mop lines um, you'll see the l10s ultra working um, in multiple rooms in the rest of the video as well after it is done cleaning, it will make its way back to the base unit for automatic dust collection and automatic mop cleaning and drying. The removable base plate deep cleans the mops against the grooves and then also dries them with hot air. So really after you're done cleaning, you don't have to worry about anything. It just does it all for you. Start auto empty. <laughs> Check. We still have plenty of. Um, Mom pad drying complete. We still have an, uh, plenty of. Um, it looks like clean water. It looks like plenty of clean water. Well, let's check the dirty. Ooh, gross. All right, let's see. Ooh, down the drain. If you are interested in purchasing a Dreamy L10S Ultra for yourself, definitely click the links in the description box below. Um, I'll have all that information down in the description box. So go down there and check it out and click on the links um, that I've provided for you and buy one for yourself because I feel like this is going to help me out so much with cleaning around the house and not having to um, worry about a mop and bucket and so many different um, cleaning tools and you know this is just going to become a part of my everyday cleaning because um, I love being able to multitask so with a toddler you know I can um, have this running in the kitchen while I'm in there playing with him and then I get clean clean um, mopped floors without really having to do anything except for hit a button so thank you so much to dreamy tech for sponsoring today's video I am going to get work my way around the rest of the kitchen and get everything cleaned you will definitely be seeing the dreamy tech um further into the video as well because he he helped me clean uh the rest of the house i want to live your life i want to dream your dreams lick the moons catch them stars in the night every superpower that is yours will be mine I'll be that it girl Pouting mouth crossing the line
I am so happy that summer is upon us. This house is great for summertime. We have a lot of grass and trees out back and of course the pool. And now that we have a lot of like play areas set up for Malcolm, he loves going outside. I love going outside. Um, just, I don't know, the sunshine just makes me so happy. It's still kind of cold here. I don't know what's going on with that. Like. Some days it'll be up in the high 80s and the next like three days it'll be kind of kind of chilly like 60s 70s um not enough to go into the pool that we did i'm like man this year we actually opened the pool early and it's too cold to go in the pool um malcolm still goes in though he he'll go in for like 10 minutes and then come out shivering being like nope i'm done <laughs> um but the other day i had one of my migraine um, issues and I was like all I want to do is just go outside so I went outside laid on the back deck with a blanket and just kind of basked in the sun and it, it it revived me it made me feel better I didn't take obviously take away my migraine or anything but it made me focus on how good it felt to be outside and the sun and the wind and hearing the birds and just like just I don't know it took me out of like my misery my misery little bubble you know from being inside and having like the tv going and the washing machine going and the just just no like normal everyday noises it took me out of that and it just felt amazing to just go outside um i've been working really hard i got a couple new plants outside which i'll show you guys in an upcoming video i got a couple plants outside that i'm planting um I know it's going to take time to achieve my dream of what I want outside um, years and years and years but like I said previously this is our for what I can see this is going to be our forever dream home um, I don't know I guess that's kind of cheesy to say dream home anymore because you know um, someone had said to me uh, recently too like yeah I, there is no such thing as a dream home for me I, I love to move around so much but for me, um, we moved around a lot as a kid, uh, just not like a military kid or, or pastor kid or anything like that. Like we moved around just because we had to growing up and I was in like five or six schools, different elementary schools and things like that until we finally settled down um, in sixth grade and I continued to have friends and um, go to the same school system in six through uh, 12. So, I, you know, that was one of the things I wanted for my children was for them to be able to go to school with kids that they grew up with through, through their entire school system. So we've stayed in the same school district for my kids from when they were in pre-K until um, uh, high school. Um, and I know some people can't do that. You know, it, it, it just all depends on the housing market and situations and everything. But that was one of my goals of being like, I want my kids to have friends from pre-K <laughs> from, from whatever. So like, this is, this is my happiness. Like I love change and I, you know, I love houses. That's why I love, um, home remodel shows and blogs and watching YouTube people like get new houses. I think it's so cool. That was Ashley from vacuum to do us part. Like she's had like three houses and she's been on YouTube. Um, and I think that's so fun and so cool. And I think live your life, do what makes you happy. Do, um, whatever, like float your boat. I'm not knocking people that do move around, but for us, this is our like little slice of paradise. This is our like dream and our, the way that we have envisioned how our family is going to go. So you know, our dream home is just like stability, <laughs> honestly, not even this house, like even if for some r crazy reason, this house, I don't want to speak ill in this house, but this house like d was gone. Um, I'd still want to stay in the same school system, even if it meant renting like a trailer house 
somewhere just to stay here so my kids can continue their journey through school with their friends like that's that's my ideal of like dream living is is stability and having my kids um you know get what I wasn't able to have but I'm not saying my childhood my childhood was bad or anything like that I'm just saying that like that was what my husband and I wanted for our family and we're we're living out that dream so that's my little explanation of the whole dream home thing it's not really about the home even though this house is gorgeous and i'm so thankful i tell him all the time i'm so grateful and thankful that we were able to get this house at a reasonable a reasonable price even though i still think we ever paid um a reasonable price um a reasonable interest rate oh my gosh can't give that rate up any you know <laughs> for the rates these days um but you know it's it's still it's never about the home it's about the feeling of stability and um just you know being happy for our little family Okay, please tell me if you guys like the way that I do my voiceovers. As in, I kind of treat each video as its own individual podcast in a way. And, and like like I just, I went off on that little tangent and rant explaining like, you know, deeper feelings, deeper like things. Not just like, oh, I'm using Sprayway and my glass e-cloth polishing cloth to clean my windows. Um, I tilt down my windows because they came in the house and they're awesome and I have microban on the table there to help lift all of the sticky fingerprints and I'm wiping the windowsill because the cat likes to get up there and leave dirty paw prints like I mean I get it like if I'm using anything new or like anything different I usually like to tell you guys about it um, but not every single scene in my video is me talking about cleaning um, and maybe that's where I'm going wrong and I'm not growing my channel, but I just find it more interesting to kind of just get on here and freewheel it and whatever's on my mind at the moment, I kind of chat about. And of course I do share my cleaning products and my cleaning tools. I'm still very passionate about trying to keep this big old house clean and organized. And, you know, I'm, I'm feel like I'm in my hot mess era again. Um, I am, I go in cycles. I feel like it's the ADHD. I go in cycles where I have all my stuff together. And then I have my cycles where I'm listening to the struggle care podcast being like, why am I? the way I am trying to organize my life to make it fit for the way that my brain works um so let me know if you like me just kind of winging it and talking about whatever on here um or if you prefer me to stick to like this is my cleaning product this is the way I'm doing it this is blah 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 blah, blah. um I still have not painted that door y'all it's gonna happen um here is <laughs> when I was in there focusing all my attention on <laughs> cleaning the kitchen this is what Malcolm was doing he was like nope and just went like a little hurricane in here it's honestly not that messy in here um it's just a bunch of 
little bitty toys and reorganization. Um, I actually found a chair that I am looking at to put in that corner there instead of that gray and white um, glider. Um, right now, that's pretty much the cat's chair. You'll see in a little bit, he just left a ton of his cat hair. So I'm going to get that um, little pet hair cleaning tool and clean up all of the pet hair again i did end up putting a little bit of the lamb's ear up on the mantle i really like that i also added that blue vase in there i think last video but yeah here's the here is the chair it's awful um this chair also is very uncomfortable i bought it for malcolm's nursery and i hated it I ended up bringing up bringing it out here when he was little but look how amazing this thing is i forgot i had this i used to use this on the big brown couch that we had um a while ago but then we didn't you know we ended up selling that and we moved our white couch upstairs which is still doing really well i promised that couch to my son for when he moves out to his first apartment but look at all that cat hair that was just from doing that i'm gonna do the the little um lamp there too and clean this little console table i love this little console table i'm so glad i decided to bring it down and put it over here I think it looks nice um, with their little family pictures above it. I just had to cancel family pictures for this year just because all of our schedules didn't work. I was really sad. We were scheduled to get family pictures um, last Friday and it just did not work out. Um, I bought all the outfits, I bought everything, but just the timing of it just did not work out and I was so sad. Um, Gabriel had to work, he could not get off work. Maddie had a bunch of things on her schedule as well. So I was just like, you know what? It's just, it's just not working out. So I want everyone in the pictures when we get family pictures um you know i don't want to take pictures without my oldest i don't want to take pictures without my girl um you know but i don't know i guess i'm gonna have to evolve as my kids get older I don't know what happened to the footage of me cleaning Malcolm's playroom, but um, I cleaned in there as well and in the entryway. I don't know what happened, um, but you'll get to see the um, dreamy L10S Ultra um, work in those rooms, um, even though you don't get to see me like scrubbing everything down and wiping everything down in there. Um, this thing is such a beast. I I'm really going to enjoy having this help me clean the house, especially in the summer when we're going in and out um, all day. Like when we're outside, I can just open up the gates and just let this thing do its magic all over the main floor of my house. So don't forget to um, click the links down below and you can purchase one for yourself. So I also added a grocery haul at the end of this video. You've actually seen some of the food in the kitchen when I was cleaning the kitchen and stuff, but I always like to add the grocery hauls at the end because they're hit or miss. Some people love grocery hauls. Some people are just like, no, I don't want to see your food. Crazy. Um, so I always just add it at the end. I actually started my morning by going out and getting groceries. So it's kind of out of order, but it's it's what I have found works the best. If I put the grocery haul at the beginning of the video, people will just click off. A lot of people will just click off or fast forward, and then that's not good for the, for my algorithm. So that's why I always put the grocery hauls at the end. It's a choice. You can watch if you want. You, know, you can click away if you want. He got mad because I wouldn't let him... Um, play with the plunger and then he also got mad because I wouldn't let him shut the door on the tripod I'm out of my Clorox wipes so I'm using the um the method wildflower anti bathroom anti-back stuff um actually I don't think it's bathroom but the anti-back stuff um I forgot how like fumey 
it was to use the method anti-back. I was in there coughing up a storm, but um, you got to use what you got to use. And I don't like using microfiber cloths on my toilet. That's just me personally. Um, but yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Definitely click the link in the description box below if you want to check out the Dreamy Tech L10 Ultra um, robot vacuuming mopping robot <laughs> um click down below so you can check it out for yourself and purchase one for yourself thank you so much and here is my clean powder room and then i'm going to move right on in to the grocery haul and i'll see you guys next time here is this week's grocery haul we have two things of apple juice we have some orange juice malcolm's almond milk this time i got me some fat free mild cheddar um i have some pepsi zero some mini cucumbers i want to make some um homemade tzatziki sauce so we will see how that goes um and use the cucumbers as well to like dip in them um, I got some Greek yogurt. I have some sugar-free chocolate pudding instead of those ice cream sandwiches that I've been devouring like they've been going out of style. I'm going to try having one of these instead. Not the same, but still, it'll be all right. Um, I got some, I think this is cilantro. I got some pre-cut broccoli florets. Got some true lemon for my water intake. Some freeze-dried dill. I tried to get fresh dill but they just didn't have any at my store right now so i'm gonna try some uh some dried dill probably not the same flavor but it might work ground chicken i'm gonna make some um kebabs uh as well and uh tenderloins we have um chicken breast on the bottom then i have some chicken wings um canadian bacon i want to make some um fake mcdonald's McMuffins with some Canadian bacon. We have sausage. Malcolm can eat some breakfast sausage. We're gonna go with some turkey bacon as well. A little pack of strawberries. Um, I have some fresh green onion. And then I'm also going to try to regrow these this week. We'll see. Uh, Velveeta slices. I know this is not healthy, but on Weight Watchers, this is only one slice. Sometimes you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta just get whatever's low in points to meet that cheese factor, you know? Um, I got some corn, mini corn on the cob nibblers, restock on my green beans and my sweet peas. I do not like rice cauliflower at all. I don't like it, but I'm gonna try this. I don't know how many points this is to be honest, but um, we're gonna at least try it and, and see how it goes. Um, we have some dino nuggets, some mozzarella sticks, uh, the skinny girl buttermilk ranch, no sugar added baby rays for all the chicken we got going on. We have a restock on my penne pasta, some Eggo minis. Madeline is having friends spend the night this weekend, so I got a little bit extra junk food for them per her request. Have a little minute brown rice for me, some little cherry tomatoes, some lettuce, restock on our angel hair. I got um, plain Greek nonfat yogurt. Um, one I'm gonna make a ranch dip, the other one I'm gonna use for the tzatziki sauce. Um, it's definitely not gonna be like original flavors. I'm trying to make a light one, so we'll see how that goes. I have some light string cheese, and then I have, of course, my Colby, Colby Jack and turkey sticks. Delicious. These are the 100 cal um, muffins for my fake McDonald's. We have uh, elderberry, lemon balm, immune, and stress hot tea. My husband loves this. Two things of Mountain Dew for the teenagers. Yuck for me personally. If you like Mountain Dew, that's great. I am just not a Mountain Dew girly. Nor am I a Dr. Pepper girly, so these are for the kids. I have some um, pretzel thins to dip in my ranch and etc. Malcolm loves these, so I got these as a little treat for him. Keep them away from Madeline and my husband. They both like these as well. Madeline requested Doritos and Tostitos with some queso. 
Um, this is an actual absolute mistake. I did not mean to get Cinnamon Toast Crunch pancake mix. I meant to get a small box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but this is what I get for trying to order quickly. Um, but I'll make it for the kids one day. And Malcolm loves this raisin cinnamon bread toasted with nothing on it, literally, no butter or anything. He just likes this slightly toasted and it's like a treat for him. And then we have two things of these muffins. So if the kids get up um, early, they can have these if they want, which more than likely they'll sleep in. And then Madeline also requested these super um, sugary sugar cookies with icing. Um, and then I needed a thing of aluminum, aluminum foil. So I got some Reynolds wrap. And this whole thing was $217. Um, I didn't get as much as I wanted to this week because we're trying to stay on a budget in this house. We're trying to budget, budget, budget. And um, I had to make some allocations for her friends coming over. So extra snacky treat things versus healthier options. I did do good by getting a bunch of um, chicken, um, but I wanted to get some more fresh fruits and veg, but uh, I gave that money to my daughter. Um, we can't afford to go crazy on groceries, but I'm just really trying to stick to a budget each week and, um, you know, just, just do better. Like just do better with, with my grocery money. Cause sometimes it can get a bit crazy. So, um, here is our grocery for the week for a family of five plus guests weekly. <laughs> I want to live your life I want to dream your dreams Lick the moons, catch them stars in the night Every superpower that is yours will be mine I'll be that it girl, power